Yeah, sorry for the long absence. I mean, I, I take long leaps of absences from streaming. I have to be super, super, super motivated to stream just because... Well, you don't get a lot of viewers in this category and the categories I tend to stream on. But uh, yeah, I need more footage. We finally uploaded the last episode of Tales of Symphonia to YouTube, so... My... You know, I try to do playthroughs that are going to last me in terms of videos at least a month, you know. It's like I can't decide on, you know, if I want Twitch to be the avenue for which my content creation comes from or if I want it to be YouTube. I mean, I'm currently dipping into both wells, but... I need more footage. I felt like playing the rogue. The rogue was my main last expansion, so I felt like leveling him up. Uh, the shaman... I'll level him up at some point. At least I already got, you know, like three episodes out of him, but... Okay, let's do this. Let me make sure... Oh, you know what? I didn't check. Okay, so it says that Alf UI is still fine. Okay, I still do have Gouge as a rogue. Like I've I've been watching Wow uh classic WoW leveling because I want to finish leveling the druid and I've been watching that tactics dude. And I didn't, you know, I'm so used to what abilities they have in the old school game. I don't remember, like, what CC options we have. But we still do have Gouge and we still do have Blind. So that's cool. You know, there's not really much you can't solo Champion. these days, so. Preparations have been made. Nazgrim will tell you of the grim fate that is befallen. Yeah, this isn't in my, this isn't on my solid state drive, so takes us a while to uh, load in but yeah we're gonna finish the druid but I have enough footage on him to last me at least one more week and I've been waiting for the hype train to kind of uh, crash and burn for a TBCC so that um, leveling won't be such a pain in the ass if you're looking for like this is the first time you're seeing Shadowlands stuff this is not the playthrough to that this is my Fifth character that I'm leveling, so I've seen the intro quite a couple times, quite a few times. Excuse me, sorry. Before her minions abducted key leaders, the Banshee Queen attacked Icecrown. She cut a path to the frozen throne. So yeah, this is me trying to domination. just level up as fast as I can. Look to the sky and you will see the results of her actions. Yeah, we have Leatrix here. I have anything like this. Man, everybody's just leveling up their stuff by the looks of it. The peace remains tenuous. These are troubled times. When Our people need stability. Alliance and horde alike. Gaping. The oh, okay, so I still gotta wait for the RP part of it, all right. Unfortunately, the crafted gear that you can make... Oh, it turns it over to stamina. Interesting. Oh, the strength is just not on it. Yeah, even though I can make myself swords, like, it... They don't come with agility on them they only like you can only make agility daggers together we can open which was kind of lame because um i'm going to level as outlaw and outlaw you kind of want to do wield swords I could sense a dark presence at the edge of my consciousness. 
I dare not uh, oh, I still have grappling hook, right? Hell, I guess I can't make I myself get there faster. To the will of its true master. But this threat cannot be left unchecked. Yeah, we've done this a couple times, so there's only so much I can. I'm just trying to get this as fast as possible to 60, just for the content creation. The dangers you face will be considerable. Alone, you may well be outmatched. To aid in this task, the knights of the like I don't mind the questing being a cinematic experience. It's Compared to, you know, the litany of kill and loot quests that, that Classic WoW has, like, it's a refreshing to have quests that, uh, that are still loot and, like, you know, it's still kill and loot quests, but there's a little bit of RP thrown in every now and then. The path opens. The door opens. Your courage will be remembered, so yeah, let's, uh, you know what? Another thing that kind of sucks is I have so many buttons I have to push on this class compared to Death Knight and I mean it's you know if it can play this class and Shaman depending on what build you take um you have a lot of buttons to push man. Like, people talk about pruning, and oh, all of our abilities are taken away from us, and temporary power, and blah, blah, blah. But I only have so many keybinds. And, like, ability blow is a thing. I mean, this, this one feels cool, because I'm like a little goblin, and I manage to take down these dudes. I'm like, eh. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I'm just I'm so menacing and evil. That's crazy. All right, let's go. Okay, I got it. Okay, I gotta stand still. Fight your way out of here. We'll meet you ahead. Okay, gotta relearn how to play this class. Okay, I have to get a feel for um, whenever I have uh, what is this ability even called? Blade Rush? Do we sell French fries? Regroup with your fellow knights. We will not be far behind. I can't forget about roll the bones. I do love goblins, so though. The voices are funny. Oh! Come on, just a little closer now. Also, this dude had way more gear on him compared to the other one, so I shouldn't be in too much danger. Oh, come on, I needed that build to go off. That was such a waste of combo points, it's not even funny. That's it. Tank for me. Ok, 
Okay. Oh, right. I can't forget about slicing dice. Okay, so this guy's like immune to stuns, it looks like. 3600 experience, that's wacky. Come on, soldier. This clarion will signal the Ebon Blade to You must answer! Clarion call! Come on, with the corpse. Dang it, would you not? I I appreciate that you want to tank for me, dude, but I'm out of range. Whoops, didn't mean for that to happen. Okay, I definitely need to make a start attack macro for this dude. Oh, sweet. Blind perks on this dude. Nice. Pretty sweet. We rally up ahead. Go! We have done all we can here. Let's get moving before reinforcements arrive. Woo, feels good playing a class that does damage. Master is sneaking around. The conflict seems to move in this direction. We should follow the trail before it grows. Cold. This guy. Looks like more of the Admiral's handiwork or whatever. Up ahead! It's Lady Crownhorn! I can see. Oh man, are you telling me? Come on. Come on, man. I need to get close. Whoa, let's not attack you. Oh, yeah. That was a blunder that cost me a couple seconds how to do that shit. The Lord Admiral is truly formidable. Invested one of these monstrosities. Eh. We're gonna have to fight a lot of them. Oh man, check her out. She's actually using the animations for. Um, never actually bothered to look at her this whole time I've ever quested. I've just been focused on. I will manage. Thank you for coming to my aid. I uh, don't know if I'm actually gonna need food. Just in the off chance that I do. Be ready. And dust to dust. No path available. You lie, sir. You lie. Whoops, that was a blunder. Yeah, that little flashing icon means that I got a. What is this shit called? Opportunity and opportunity proc. And what that means is whenever I use a uh, grape shot, I get two combo points instead of one. So you only ever really want to use grape shot whenever or point. What is this? Pistol shot, not grape shot. 
You only ever want to use that whenever you have that prop. I'm getting us out of here. Left some mere images behind to keep them distracted. I'm, oh, I'm, I'm the ready. Won't hold for long. Okay, let's Hurry. go. There's a cave just around the bend. With any luck, we can so yeah, if you have four combo notes. points, you actually want to spend them so that you don't Our over cap your combo points. You manage to slip past them again. You will not evade our grasp, mortals. No. Well, there goes our luck. Knights, security cave. Hold up these speeds. So much for remaining unnoticed. Let's hurry. No, my opportunity. And my adrenaline rush. Indeed. I've broken free countless times. Mm, pardon me. End up back in cage. I've hidden inside this cave before. We can't stay long. Yeah, I don't mind this. People complain time. about the RP and having to do this over and over, but it doesn't bother me. I keep forgetting about slice and dice. Lord Admiral, before we found you, did you see any sign of the night lord? Miranda, here. No, I have not. She leapt into the rift just ahead of us. She vowed to find Sylvanas Windrunner at any cost. That is troubling. An ancient ritual infused her with incredible power. She it cut off an orc's head just to be able to do it. To Ah, it does feel good playing rogue again. The jailer has plans for you. Compared to that druid. Cages, fiend. There is nowhere to run. Nothing Aww. escapes the maw. Oh, look at that, baby. I got all procs. I mean, I'm sure that shit's really cool whenever you're not expecting to see all of the Roll the Bones procs. Pretty sweet. If only I had somewhere to be. Man, that shit, like, only has a 1% chance to happen, and it's, like, after the fight ended. That's lame. When you first arrived... I wasn't sure if you were even real. Yeah, I mean, this is the only part about it that kind of sucks. Is uh, there is a lot of RP. I was beginning to lose hope that I'd see any. What's all this crap in again? my bags? It's because this guy was my main chef last expansion, so he has all the cooking bits, and pieces. We cannot let the world fall to darkness. Very well. Where to begin? Denizens call this realm Exorcist the, the Patient. From what I have gathered, it was intended as a prison Interesting. for the most foul, You know, normally you don't name a character Exorcist. That's usually their job. Something has changed. Their job description. Sure, noble souls are being held captive here as well. They cry out in torment. Yeah, yeah. Indeed. And one of their tormentors. And ours. This does take forever. It seems she has made a powerful ally. In the she jailer, someone called the jailer rules this realm. We know little about gossip, him, but it's clear social he has taken chat, a special interest text. In us. He has personally overseen our treatment here. We have endured countless torments. At times, it felt as if we were being tested. Tested, no, for what purpose, I cannot say. Mm. Whatever this jailer and the banshee are planning. It won't end well for any of us. I caught glimpses of Bane and Anduin during my attempts to break free. They live. That's for now. For certain. But I have found no means of leaving them all. I can only manage to teleport short distances. 
This nightmare feels we'll for sure at least get to level 51, but I mean, haven't played in a while, so playing feels like something I want to do right now. Perhaps one of them knows a way out. I can scarcely imagine the horror such spirits have endured. Can we hurry this along, please? There's nothing left of them to save. They manifest as malevolent shades that wander the darkness. Uh huh. I doubt they'd willingly help us. Knights of the Ebon Blade have ways to compel the dead to speak. Like they just need you to be able to accept the next quest and like not have to listen to this. Secrets. Like if you've done it before, like that's it. And they can keep all the RP and stuff for people who are interested. A long road lies before us. Oops. Mm, we gotta kill these shadows and use that item, that thing on them. Use the helm while it's weakened. One thing that does suck about this is um, you you don't get experience for like anything here, so you can't even get extra XP while you're doing this. I think I see one over there. Man, I need my tank to go off, please. Thank you. No. These souls are too fragmented. 